Excellent. Nice. All right, welcome to EFAP TV Mando, episode two of season three. Yeah, episode that's... three, season that's... two, The no, Mandalorian no, wrong... Disney wrong around, Rags. Plus, Rags, you fuck Star up, Wars, it's all over. The wrong dot around, com, wrong the universe around. Around. of space. Yeah, it oh, is. Yes, we're on StarWars.com. It's like E-Bomb's world. Get your it, best run today. Here's a fun little factoid about this episode. IGN Ooh. gave it a five. IGN, well, this well, episode? Out of, out of ten. Ah. This one? <laughs> now that is that is an interesting, because IGN oh, scores stuff way higher than we do. That means it's they like obey. a one out of ten. Yep. <laughs> They are, so just, they are beautiful they're... disciples of the mouse. Um, so I'm, I'm going to throw a, a wrench in there. That might mean it's good um, because yeah. remember <laughs> our version of like terrible Mando is other people's versions of like good Mando and vice versa. Well, they so one of one of the oh, I don't they, give I don't know they, they probably give a fucking I... snore out of ten. Am I right? <laughs> oh, the bow. And keep no, they give it a nine. I... In keeping oh. with the IGN traditions, though, like one of the things that they appeal to is that the lighting is bad, like okay. a very hyper specific thing, you know, like kind of like <laughs> too the much water. water the water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just these weird sort of like. Uh, luckily for them, we were born surrounded by water. It's so funny so. though, because if if they were like, yeah. oh man, the fucking this just it's just so poorly lit, the, you'd just be like, okay, but what about like the story? How's that? <laughs> I didn't like, see it because it was so poorly lit. We are in the process of making sure everything is running perfectly in terms of releases. We have unfortunately Whoa. not been able to release uh, the first episode's coverage before recording this one. Thus, no comment showcase. However, no. hopefully by the time we hit episode three, we'll have a double comment showcase going over the past two mm -hmm. wonderful episodes. That's Talking ridiculous. Incredible. About wow, Mando too much No, it's it's not a double enough. comment showcase. We can't, not DCC. enough. Comment showcase is a you drug. Stop it being is such in, a greedy snoy. It is heroin in my veins. Oh, oh okay. The first episode was hyper, hyper generic, but probably yes. hit all of the boxes it was supposed to, and thus people are like, woohoo, Mando mm. is back, and it's better than all the other shows, woohoo. I've seen mucho sentimente that it's better than Andor already, and it's like, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> really? But how? how yeah, you know what? Boring. Boring. I guess Andor's I'm not boring, aware of what and there's bricks. Means, but that's, it's not, man, that's, that's, bricks. that's so lame. I wonder if this gun is loaded. <laughs> Why would you even say that? Like, me and Metal understand, but... <laughs> just just show the clip. I wonder if it's loaded. No. Oh, so that's what you guys mean. I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, people shit on Andor, because boring, because no story, because no Star Wars, because... I just, I guess I find it I so didn't see lightsabers. I find, I find, in it. I find Mandalorian incredibly <laughs> boring. Yes, it's pretty I find bad. it exciting in, like, how bad it is, and I, how yeah. you can laugh I, I at mean, it. If I, if I wanted to go into it earnestly to try and, like, learn about the characters in the world and, and, and grasp some kind of theme, I'd be incredibly bored. Oh, you'd be miserable. It's, it's, it's yeah. only entertaining because of it's funny that it's bad, but, like, if you were yeah, trying think... to watch it earnestly, I don't know what you're, like... Where's the character? Like, there is no character. It feels like a cutscene you're sitting through so you can get to some gameplay that is the re yeah. real reason you're there, but then you just watch mm. the fight. But the happen. devs, well, that's, but the that's... devs think that the cutscenes are way cooler, so they really insist on having these cutscenes play out for a long time. And he was like, yeah. okay, that's let's a good, Season uh... four is actually going to be the gameplay, and it's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh. We just had to have three seasons of setup because of the complex characters and their emotional journeys and the world building. But it's season four, to, man. Um, go though, uh, uh, Jay. Welcome. And what is your take Hello. on episode one of uh, Mandalorian, season three, episode one? One. You want to know my opinion of the episode one of Mandalorian? Episode one, season three. Yeah, of, of season three. Well, I can tell you, but first, I'm going to need you to go to the planet Klempton, <laughs> where there's a guy that I'm going to need you to meet. And he's got a he's got like a little thing that he that he needs you to find for him. And once you do that, I can tell you. He's gonna unlock a chest that has my opinion in there. And you unlock yeah. it, and you're like, wait, there's no opinion in here. And it's like, ah, it's in a different box. Hidden. Well, you know, you I, see, I, I need opinion, um, I need. Well, I can't explain yet, time. but I'm gonna need that to tell you my opinion. Yes. Nice. And you see, I built a robot that gives opinions, but one of its circuit breakers is fried. But only a very specific manufacturer on planet Glorthomp has the part, so you're gonna have to go over there. But you might want to find yourself a bodyguard to go there because it's a dangerous planet full of glimps and uh, schlor bags. Uh, so you definitely want to go to. Um, 
pro Joe gum for to yeah. get yourself a particularly good bounty hunter. And that bounty hunter is someone that I could tell you about because he and I used to go to high school. We were on the varsity space ball team, mm. and he's really cool. But I don't know where he is, so you'll have to talk to And we can't trust Jim. him necessarily. And, he might be evil. Oh, no, I definitely can't trust him. And I don't know where he is, so you have to go and talk to Jim, who's another friend. He actually lives down the street, and he might know a clue that you could find to find the body guard to Before find the to part. Jim, you're going to have to find his front door key to get into his house. That's true. And he legend has it that he keeps it. Rocks, and you must decide well, yes, correctly but on your first try. There's a riddle that you'll have to decipher that will tell you which one of the rocks has the key. But the key you see is separated into four segments, and each segment is on four different planets. He lives a very complex life. It takes a long time for him mm. to open his door. Well, um, my favorite but... part about these things is always that I know that there's someone in the live premiere chat really, really annoyed that we've not started the episode yet. Fuck you, we're Go still watch talking. Man. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, in order for us to start the episode, we have to acquire uh, a Disney Plus subscription, and those can only be given to people with special passes. And so we have to complete, which is tough for all five of us to do. That's true. We got to go to a different planet where the subscriptions are because the factory that produces them is being attacked by a group of, um, scorpions. Scorpions are attacking. They're scorpions. They're space scorpions. Yeah, they have little bows. But really, you might think that they're bad, but they're misunderstood. So over the next episode, we'll get to understand the scorpions. And we'll get to really empathize with him. See, I and think even if they script, enslave us. When does that even happen in Mando? Uh, understanding a person. I also, uh, do the other thing I think that you're, you're overestimating is like almost multi-episode quests. It's not an impossibility, but it's usually that a lot of the side quests are self-contained within <clears> the episodes anyway. Sometimes you'll be given like a, a quest and then you'll be like, oh, that's already done? Okay. Like, uh, it sounds kind of grand and then it's just gone. Let's not call it a quest. Let's call it an errand. Yeah, yeah, they're errands, and they're very low stakes. It's more stakes. like an errand. Yeah, because I oh, we know that... errand boy. Well, I, I mean, that would be more suitable, but I guess we'll Helmet get... Helmet man and errand boy. Because we're going to get Pirate Master back at some point. Greenman, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah. shows up again. I believe his name is Pirate Lord... Um, God? Pirate... What, what Elon was his name? Musk. Pirate Lord Elon Musk. Something shot looks like he's and got Mel was like, oh my god, shot. And it's like, no, Mel, stop. <laughs> shot. There was one detail I really liked in the, in the whole episode. I was like, it's a shame that that detail is here. I liked how the little Babu Frick um, place that they went into was very small. It was a little house built for small people yeah, and I, Mando I... looked massive in it. Enjoy Something that. that I said was I would have just preferred to see a show about those guys repairing, mm -hmm. like just being mechanics, a sitcom about all of the crazy. And they have a little love you know, triangle, they have to fix. and maybe we'll <laughs> the coffee machine breaks, and they got to get that sorted. And Tune in next Tuesday for three little engineers in a big, big world. It's the thing I've been saying for years is like, I would just like it if they made, like, I'd like one about a decommissioned battle droid, like, just trying to figure out what his purpose is in life, like, after being decommissioned after the Clone Wars. I and think like, really maybe they imagine they have a relatively limited capacity for thought, but they'd still have some things that they do think. I want some high concept stuff going on. Well, yeah, which yeah. needs to write it so that uh, their learning and, and the critical thinking can be unlocked, so to speak. Mm. Uh, yeah, well, like, not, I, not even I, necessarily that. They just have like a limited capacity for critical thinking, and that's what they have to use to get by. But they're still like a complex character that you can like uh, invest emotions in because like they a shitty data. Drives that that's like yeah, a... or, or like um fucking uh, Shark Man from the Suicide Squad. What about the Super Battle Droid and a Battle Droid? And the Super Battle Droid uh, is. Got the lesser like thinking a, abilities while the battle like a Laurel has and the Hardy, highway. yeah. Like, and the battle, mm. and you know, we can have funny, but we could also have pretty dramatic in terms of like two battle droids, kind of an idiot, but got a good heart. What's he say in terms of what's what's you actually figure? Oh, oh, I, we I have the episode where they get shocked and their um, brains like swap, and so their but their bodies switch. For that could be really. It feels like we're making a hygiene. really funny comedy now. I feel like I feel like <laughs> I, with I the, really droids, the, the way they're written is that they're like they seem relatively stoic almost. They seem pretty like quiet and efficient. Right, but, but it would be a good example of uh, your, your comedy duo of like the straight man and the well, it's an inversion, right? Because usually the straight man is the is the smart one. Well, yeah, so you, be you, I mean, you don't have to be. Man. A, 
intelligent to point out wacky antics. You know, you can no, just... That, that, I mean, look, well, look, I'm here making fun of Mando. Imagine a third companion is the <clears throat> Droidica, and it's like, shields are busted, and it's got like lots of bumps, and maybe you're missing a gun. Oh, still... and maybe maybe <laughs> he's, he feels very vulnerable. It's like, yeah. he, he used to be able to protect himself from the world, shield himself from pain, and he has to learn to accept pain as a part of life. Guys... Come on. What's what's weird about what the battle droid up stuff? And move around anymore. He's too like bumped and misshapen for to do the little rolling up thing. Yeah, he like it's, it's like maybe he can roll, but it's like a really in. awkward roll. Or can only he can only turn left. The Disney that, that Star Wars something. people they've, they've they've spent so much time trying to do nostalgia and everything. Remember this, remember that. But there's legitimately an insane amount of real world reasons or in law reasons. Why you would see battle droids all over the place? Yeah, I oh, mean, yeah. after the after the Clone Wars, all the battle droids were just like decommissioned. They're turned off. They're not destroyed. The they turn off. Yeah. Right? I'd be curious what they Isn't did with it, the ones. Um, so on every level. well, you'd have every mercenary and personal. Per they'd be used for as bodyguards and protection. And a lot of companies would scoop up with the ones that they can. How come we don't see just all the blasters everywhere? They would flood the market of Star Wars after the yeah, Clone everybody Wars. would have. Yeah. Like but we don't Star ever see Wars that stuff. One time that there were like a trillion battle droids manufactured. It should be like it's like like AKs are everywhere in the world now because there's so many of them and they're so cheap and they just get made by everybody. That's what that's what the battle droids and their little blasters should be. Like every criminal organization and yeah. every mercenary group, they should have battle droid blasters. They should have like battle droids and maybe they've got like three hooked up to a little control module or whatever. Or a guy who's on the outer rim and he's got like um. Like a palace. Uh, like what was the episode where Ahsoka Tano was in the last uh, season? Like, how come the the Baron of that little estate didn't have like dozens of battle droids that they just purchased, and inside their place they have the little Man. control unit? Like, he is really show that, like a criminal syndicate was like more ragtag rather than well organized. That these are like probably you know cheap and discarded equipment that's not that high quality. Because, you know, I mean, you saw that the fucking clones got, like, like probably a kill ratio of 50 to 1. Yeah, I, I remember reading in some... something. It was I think it was one of those, um like, cross-section books when The Phantom Menace came out and I had one. And it was super cool. And they had one on, like, the battle droids. And they're saying, yeah, the blasters are kind of crap, but, like, there's a bajillion of them. They're not... battle droids aren't meant to be good. And their equipment isn't meant to be good. But, you know, enough of them and it gets the job done. So mm -hmm. all this cheap stuff would flood the market after the Clone Wars ends. Yeah. You, you don't see, anyone, great, great you don't that, like, see anybody wearing... Like, like pieces of clone war uh, or clone armor they don't have shoulder pads or gauntlets or greaves or chest pieces you never see all of that stuff anymore and it's such a missed opportunity you don't even really see people with the um the what do they call the e11 blasters that the stormtroopers have like there'd be a crap ton of those out there now but you just don't see that stuff there's no like all the chances they have to flesh out the world and have references to old things they just don't have a lot that would of be work good for world building, little though. payoff. Yeah, that would be good world building, which is mm. why we don't have it. I suppose so. Yeah. Instead, we have to watch Mandalorians being eaten by a crocodile because that's cool. <laughs> and then oh, yeah. Baby Yoda goes, that was the moment where I was like, "Oh, I remembered exactly the way we're in which back." The show everyone. is awful. <laughs> Aren't they cool? It was a great, great starting scene to bring us back to Mando. It really was. I, I already am thinking about at the end of season two, they encounter a fourth member of this droid posse. It's the Magna droid, and he's like. Maybe he killed a bunch of uh, innocent people at some point. He's like in pristine condition, and he's the fastest and strongest out of all of them. And he's like an ass. And if you guys see um, Bone Tomahawk, no, uh, no, there's a character that joins no. like the team in that, and he's kind of an mm. asshole, and everyone kind of hates him. But he's he's like he he had a job to do, and he did it. Sort of point of view, and uh, he's uh, quite intelligent and good at his job. Sort of the, like a character that. I want to see this droid show. <laughs> Give me well, it. the Magna Guard is their <laughs> excuse to have again the reference to old stuff and to have a melee fight. Oh, you yeah. have the oh, I gotta, I gotta stop you, and he's like, oh yeah, well you have to get past this, and then he's like, I bought this Magna Droid, but go get them, and they have to have a melee fight with a Magna Droid, and that's your excuse to have multiple things that you want. And that would be so you, cool you, to see something wonder, that isn't a Jedi fighting him. You wonder how much thought goes into like what they're going to do in any given episode of Mandalorian, if it is as simple as, who do we want to show up in this one? It's like, oh, Bo-Katan? Yeah. All right, and we'll have a couple action scenes, yeah? Yeah, of course. <laughs>
yeah, yeah. Uh, why they sounds really cool yeah 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 Wait, yeah there's um there's a so meme cool. by the way at the um at the, at the front of your subreddit at the moment amola about um people wanting bo to piss on them what <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i mean what else is gonna happen that'll interest these people in this show i i, I don't blame them I... <laughs> it would be more interesting than the story of the show Oh, Jesus! Oh, no. oh, God. It's God. Disney Star Wars! If I visit the planet and I can bring you proof that I have bathed in the living waters, then by creed... Like, I would take, take Legit, pictures he... of you taking a bath. I was gonna say, is he gonna take a <laughs> selfie? That is the most... That's probably a reasonable way to get proof. Have you ever heard of Bo-Katan Kreese? Bo-Katan Kreese. Why did one of you say Bo-Katan and the other say Bo-Katan? Yeah, I don't know. So it's that really annoying. The same way. Are we gonna get the Mando is in trouble and then Bo-Katan goes, Wee, I followed you, here I probably. am. Probably. Why does your yeah, hairband because... glow? Why doesn't it glow? because we're in space? Yeah. I actually am wearing one right now and it's purely analog. Yeah, that's, wow. that's fucking lame. How does it feel to be yeah, poor? Yeah, that is cringe. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of comfortable because there's no like metal bits or lights sticking out of it. Uh -huh. It's just a just well, a little you, piece well, of. You would have the metal bits on the outside, and you would have padding on the inside. No, Tatooine. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you. Oh, oh, it's the lady. It's the stupid uh, Amy Sadak. Sada, 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 Holy Sada, shit! Sada, like, people Sada, probably Sada, die Sada, every time this race happens. Sudakis, it's the Flumpy fingers. It? Welcome, cameo. I fucking hate you. I hate all of you, and I want you to die. The robots can live. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, pal. Fine, I'll push you back out in the street. Hit droids! No, no, no. What do people like this character? Don't know. Feels the same as Carl Weathers' character, where it's just... You remember her? She's been in before. He's got a cool little outfit there. He looks like he's dressed up and going to a party. Yeah. See, this is what happens when I watch the show. I'm like, why can't I follow the story of that alien? Or why can't I follow the story of that droid? Yeah, yeah like, what Andor like is. That is wedding. what Andor is. That is Andor is. Can we do Andor, anything else about well, this? Andor, Andor is that with like other human characters yeah. for sure, which is totally fine in terms of POV. I just want to see more aliens and like droids in Star Wars. Yeah, like look but, at like, it. Migos yeah, Hope all depressed. Andor, Andor, Andor was actually very ship and minimal everything. on the aliens and droids. It was very they, minimal on the aliens. I would like for them to have an alien POV character at some stage in that show. I agree. More aliens. Also, they didn't show him taking out the wallet with those flimpy fingers because they knew he couldn't do it. Oh, are we I doing? Oh. So she hires the Jawas to steal shit parts and then she puts yeah. them back on for a price. Fuck you. This is exactly what happened to Mando, by the way, that pissed him off. Mando should have killed them. He should have vaporized them. I don't them. remember them making her like a, a slimy asshole. I thought. Why do they no, need them to do the sticks? Being a, a huckster. Yeah, that's lame. I'll keep bringing it up, but you'd think that in all the years Mando was doing bounty honey work, bounty bounty hunter work and making a name for himself, he'd have like contacts and people he could go yeah. to instead of random assholes he just bumps into. Randomly. Well, they're only ever people that we've ever seen during these seasons, you know. Yeah. Like it's not Is except for reason? Bill Burr. I think Bill Burr was one of our. Uh, uh, Bill Burr is like the contact. only person I would what like to see. <laughs> That's something he can do. Luke taught him how. Remember when Luke shot at him with a? <laughs> yeah, that was fun. When he would have learned about jumping. Well, that was uh, that was the AI Luke. That was Skinwalker Luke. Don't count. You know how much Isley gets during Boonta Week. Oh, Boonta Week. Oh, Week. That's yeah, when the pod yeah, race happens. That's when, yeah. That's, uh, oh. the Reference. The running of the pods. They're gonna show the pod race. Cause... Hopefully they show Anakin. It wouldn't make any sense, but that's not important. I'm looking for a replacement IG memory circuit. They haven't made those for a while. So they don't have the Shigana memory circuit. They don't have a net. They don't have. The Jawas have a word for memory circuit. Fuck you. I was gonna say. <laughs> they don't have a word for memory. I need my droid fix now. I think you should buy this beauty here. I need a droid that's rated for spelunking. Spelunking? Droid that's rated for spelunking. Spelunking? Is, is an Why IG unit? A spelunker? I need a droid that can explore ahead of me and test the atmosphere. Surely your ship can test the atmosphere when you get there. Why? No. You can access well. the galaxy. Why do you keep coming back to this shithole to buy these important pieces of equipment? I feel like that's worth emphasizing. You you need an IG-11 unit to test if, like, Mandalore is safe to breathe. We humumans, with, with not IG-88s, because we don't have those, can figure out if other planets have breathable I don't see like, why a ship can't do it. Land and then detect. Uh, yeah, then, you know, it's like, just, no one actually know. Has no one ever been there? No, no one has ever been no, there. No, that's one of our problems, yeah. is that apparently yeah. Mandalore is just an inaccessible fantasy land, and you can't, like, take a starship and just physically <laughs> well, you go see, there. Everyone's been telling each other it's so poisonous that even if you go outside of it in fucking orbit, you'll die. I mean, it's we, fine. It's just like, mass actual hysteria. humans have landed probes on Venus. No. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you this for half the price, and they're in a free oil bath. <laughs> 
Oh, I guess he's like... going with it. Sure. Oh, Wait, does that mean we're dropping okay. the IG side quest? Maybe for now, but we'll return to it later, I guess. Oh, but now there's no place for Grogu. Now he's got a That's shit right, in the yeah. pod. Wow, why did you had a bigger ship, ship, Mando? I know we're all really uh, happy cameo. when the Razor Crest got blown up. We were thrilled, but like, <laughs> get a new ship. Yeah, we yeah. were. Why were we thrilled? Is it because we just. It was just I don't the same think I was. Again. Was I happy? I don't know if I was happy. Maybe. I don't know. I think go check the files. Happy. Yeah! Um, Fucking God. finally! God, I'm somebody uses their ship to blow up his ship! I'm Thank happy God about this. Gone. Fuck the Razor Crest. <laughs> yeah. Tragedy. Bye. Thank God that fucking ship is destroyed. The point is, he needs a better ship than this. The ship is terrible for long distance, like, just yep. for his line of work. What if he has to bring, like, anything with him? We saw it in the first episode. He freezes the bouncies in Carbonite. Yeah. He can't yeah. do that. Nope. There's a lot he can't do. <laughs> Yeah, oh god, knows. this is Mandalore. Was it that this simple? This is Mandalore. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why no, did you... look scary? You oh, could yeah, have gone here at any time in the entire yeah. show! Every Mandalorian can trace their roots back to this planet, and the Beskar mines deep within. You can't trace your roots back here. Wait, there are well, Beskar mines there? Then how come it isn't full of people mining it? It's dangerous. Oh. Remember, he's not, he's there, not right? Mandalorian. They might be poisonous, they don't know. He's not Mandalorian, oh, so his especially all by blood. That's his home. His home is the moon. I grew up there. On that moon, Concordia. So, he is Mandalorian, right? Because this is the Mandalore system. No, yeah. officially not a Mandalorian, and by blood he's not a Mandalorian. He's got to go in the waters, then he can be Mando again. Well, that's Why about the, the ship atmosphere, just right? analyze things? Yeah, yeah just buy a sensor, black. buy a probe, do some bounties, yeah. make some money, buy a probe. Oh, remember the or remember hire the someone droids? to do the probing for you. Your sensors don't work. Would be a great, this would be a great time to do a, like a, hey, remember the probe droids, probe droid cameo? Yeah, after the Empire collapses, all those probe droids, I bet people are going to buy those. No. Oh. It looks... Man, it doesn't seem that bad at all. No, it looks pretty cool. It's gonna be really funny if there actually is no dangers. Looks like the fusion bombs from the Purge disrupted the magnetic field around the planet. From the surface, we won't be able to communicate with anyone out of atmosphere. How so communicate with anyone off planet? I wonder okay, if there's a reason okay. they've just said that. Which is why you should go here alone, I guess, instead of yeah. hiring someone to go with you. Yeah, like, it looks kind of bad, but it's still tangible as a place. Yes, yeah, land here. Kinda, landable, like, a, as we can why see. Why did you land here? Does it work in atmosphere? Moment again. Their radio, yeah. Oh yeah, shield. The magnetic no bombs from the their fusion bombs from the purge. Just disrupted, disrupted the magnetic, the magnetic field of the whole something. I'm gonna need you to scout ahead and analyze the atmosphere. How analyze can you not atmosphere analyze here. the atmosphere from there? Yeah, yeah. there is atmosphere all around in... us, man. <laughs> That's how I'm it glad that funny. I bought the cowardly robot. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad that I bought a robot who had a sense of courage. You know, like it's what? a good thing. Well, we so that's the funny thing, right? Like R2D2, I would probably describe as. Quite a courageous boy. Uh, is asking hmm. him to take a sample of the ruins below from like a crack in the ground. Just is there any it. reason why? Any of these? Just take it from here. I, yeah, I don't know. Why can't you just ask him what the results are right now? Go over to that split in the rock and take an air sample of the ruins below. Why do you need to know something? what's in the rocks as opposed to what's in the air? I, we need I to don't figure know. out if we could even walk here first. Or is it a foregone conclusion that you can just walk around here? Well, if it, well, but that doesn't that cancel out all of the worries we've had across the entire series? I'm not defending it. I'm saying that I think it's Where's really going? stupid too. I'm just trying the to figure mines. out if they to... I yes. thought that they said that the poisonous stuff was about, like, just being able to walk around at all. Here, look. You can watch him on the scope. Yeah. You don't have a camera that shows what it's seeing or something? No, no. Okay. Oh, the red light! Oh, no! Of death! No, of course. Red is the danger oh, color. What did they do to R5 to make him disappear? Spontaneous uh, combustion. You get flattened, or it could be like, something else. Rushed. Bounty hunter. Mandalorian man. Normally this is droid work. I was hoping to avoid going out there. I'll pressurize my helmet. Seal yourself in your pod. No, that's not how that works. You can't just... Oh, but how does Gro... But, but you yeah, opened yeah, but it up. Grogu how's Grogu? Wait, where yeah. is Grogu? Oh, oh, Grogu is gone. Yeah, it's fine. He's dead. 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 Hey, hang, hang on, hang on. Him. Didn't Grogu crawl through the ship from the backside to the front side? There's no window on there anymore. He depressurized the ship. What's going and on? also, do you have an oxygen tank? Apparently, yeah. Apparently, there's oxygen in the helmet. I don't. Okay. How are you alive? So, is it safe? I d who knows. Maybe. Yeah, why does Mando not have any scanner, like, on his wrist or something? Oh, why does he not just fly the ship over there and see what happened? Ooh, spooky. spooky cave. Oh my goodness, it's a spooky cave. How deep did this droid have to fucking go? 
I don't think I don't the know. droid had time to go this deep. Unless they montage cut it. Cut I was about to say, you're not familiar with the concept of montage. <laughs> Need. Oh no, it's it's a the Vista. Oh, it's a abandoned it's a city or something. Oh no. Oh, oh hello. Wow, you suck. Oh, they all Oh my gosh, they were they were just waiting, just waiting for someone to show up. Waiting for large, somebody to show up. Boys. How often do people show up here? Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> like they just, they're here. always ready for you. Bro, why use that? It's so heavy oh, because still we made can't up that rule. wield it properly. Do you see that? It's so like it's can, heavy. He still can't. That's gonna be part of his arc. Is learning how to wield it. Properly. Is he gonna fall off? He's gonna fall off, isn't he? Here, use your other gun. Oh, you only brought the one. Okay, oh, your flamethrower. Oh, Ow, my leg. Too, yeah. yeah, like literally any other kind of knife in this scenario would be better than the. Uh, the oh, heavy you killed one. this man. Yep. Good. They're just defending their homes. His armor's from so an boring. Intruder, from an armed intruder. He, just, he literally just took like 11 hits and none of them mattered. That thing is clearly intact and it's alive yeah. and working. Why, Why did it the... disappear from the radar? Yeah. Because it was well, knocked over. It only works if it's the right way up. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it's like, an, it's like an Xbox 360 where if it's running and you change its orientation, you lose the CD because it gets scratched. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I guess Some of you that. guys in chat, you'll... You'll remember the the old days. I was just thinking about how if if he died here, Baby Yoda would just be stuck here and would die. Like, yeah. why is he bringing Baby Yoda on these missions? That seems pretty irresponsible. You got an analysis on the atmosphere yet? The charts were wrong. The atmosphere is breathable. Why did you not just check? Why did you not just check first? Why did you need to go down there to find that out? You fucking moron! Yeah, was everywhere. everywhere. And he's—is he the first person to realize Mandalore is not cursed? Yes, he is. The only one who does. Outside of Bo-Katan, she said that it was a poison. Even though, again, Mandalore is filled with Beskar, which means that there would be the Empire would have an interest in in figuring out what's on Mandalore. So would every mining corporation. Remember, he's like the only person we ever fucking see with this set of armor. Insane mm -hmm. when it's worth and this much. How insane it is. Hey, yeah. there was some random chick with a spear. <clears throat> That's true, and then he melted it down and made whistling birds and chainmail. What about the people who were killed mm -hmm. by a big crocodile? Remember, he turned that spear into chainmail for Baby Yoda. I wonder if that'll yeah. pay off. Yeah. This is where Bogatan said to go. Like, you're not concerned about there being like people here who live here? Like, well, I guess not, right? Nobody comes here. It's poisonous. Oh, except for those except people. Except it's not. I guess. <laughs> except for these weird oh, cavemen think, people. Uh, I guess I they lived this... here all the time because they don't. By the way, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm pretty sure this place is in the Clone Wars. The mines should be further down. I guess we're on our own from here. So this isn't the mines. This place isn't the mines. Yeah, what do you mean? No, I guess it's like own. this is. Yeah, this I was about is, to uh, ask. You were alone this, this whole time. Does he oh. mean they're not going with R four? But R four is back <laughs> on the ship, isn't he? That's what I mean. When he said, "I guess we're on our own," I'm not sure what he means. What about the samples that you needed? Oh, you got him. No toxic. Oh, we're fine. Wait, what? That would just be the air. That wouldn't be what? Shut up. <laughs> yeah, because the air is breathable, but is there radiation? Shut are up. There any, like, it's fine. Or it's beautiful. It's wonderful, there? and it's fine. Oh, look. Lizard. Oh, glowy eyes. eyes. Lizard Isle. I mean, I don't feel like that's helping you much at all, but okay. I'll accept. Why it's would fine. you even need a light? <laughs> Doesn't your visor have like infrared night vision was stuff that like his... that? Yeah, you used that uh, in episode in season used one, right? I think it was a scope. Oh, okay. You know about that, that incredible gun that lets him see through walls? Yeah, what, we just, what happened we, to that gun? We, we just, I don't know. We don't talk about it. We don't talk. He about didn't get it. another one either. He doesn't have a rifle. He just has one pistol. Yeah, pistol. yeah Bo-Katan has two pistols, right? He should upgrade. Yeah, he should get like. Like an EMP gun or an ion no, cannon or a, a sniper rifle. Well, don't forget whistling birds. They're pretty OP. He's got them too. Look, that passage heads down. Yeah, I can see that. Fucking hell. Oh my god, Mando. It's, it's oh, a no, helmet. No, no. Do the sound. Has Mando ever <laughs> been to Mandalore? Or is this the first time he's been to Mandalore? I think this is the first time. I feel like we could be doing a lot more with him in terms of character if we yeah. were actually no. gave it. Why would we do that? No. Let's just find a oh. helmet. Yeah, I don't care helmet. about the Mandalorians. This doesn't mean anything. Just a bunch of shitty losers. Oh. <laughs> what? Nice. Wait, was that a Caught trap? in a trap. Set for people that want to pick up Mandalorian helmets? I guess so. Uh -huh. I guess they are really valuable. But like, oh how God, often do they get people coming down here? Yeah. Wow, this could be the first gonna... time he's actually in trouble. Oh, there's an eye. Oh, there's there. an eye. Oh, there's an eye. Well, bye. And now Baby Yoda's <laughs> got to go on a quest to save Wait, Mando. So this is only happening just because Baby Yoda wasn't right next to him, as he usually is. That's fucking lucky. No, that's good writing. Shut up. Oh, it's like the <laughs> tripods from War of the Worlds. <sighs>
This sucks. Did he not move at all? No, it injected him, I think, with something yeah. on the neck. Yeah, it did yeah. inject something into Mando. Give me the old stabberoonie in the necky hole. This is oh. a neat little robot. I like yeah. this guy. Yeah. I like the design. He's kind of cool. He looks oddly not really like Star Wars, which is why I like it. Oh. Yeah. It's a cool design. Yeah, I this like it. This looks neat. This looks nice. This like a, this like a grimy Star Wars. And I kind of, I'm kind of digging it. Like it's dark, sort of. And considering the music, so, he's probably not friendly at all. Yeah, that he also could still looks be a kind of evil. Twist where he actually knows Mando very well. He's like, oh. Nice oh to see yeah, you this is my friend. Or they pretend to like want to kill each other, then they go Mando. Hey! Yeah, <laughs> I love and then they that hug. trope. It definitely yeah, it's great. Make me want to test to see if guns are loaded. I'm sure that'll be picked up later. Wait, just he can still move, so whistling birds, do it. Oh yeah, why doesn't he give that a try? Now remember, <laughs> as we learned in yeah. the book of Boba Fett, Grogu can like pull like a, a bolt straight right. out of a mega battle droid assault strider, which it takes insane amount of force, no doubt. So yeah. there's really nothing that should be able to stop uh, it Grogu from doing anything. Right now in episode two, like yeah. even very beginning. Well, the thing is, even if Baby Yoda powerful. opens this cage, it's not going to help shit, right? Because Mando's. Mando seems to be... Yeah. Get to bo What? Wow. How? How? Okay. He has to leave the whole... He has to leave the mines, get back in, go How all the, the way that he's home, Baby Yoda gonna leave get the to city. Bo could take weeks Are we actually gonna do that? Is that actually gonna be what happens? That's how insane. could an infant... How can the infant work the starship? Wow! Oh, he's got wings! You know, he could just seal up the pod. Baby Yoda didn't safer. even have to look up. Oh, he, but okay. then they can't see him and it wouldn't be as cute. Oh, that looks bad. So, how does the droid know what to do? Yeah, how does the baby communicate? He speaks Grogu. Oh, I guess he's leaving his... Uh, oh, oh, do you see he, how he heart. pointed to, like, all over the place? <laughs> <That was laughs> yeah. not... Go there. Does the droid Ow. speak baby Grogu? Is, that, is the droid just like, oh, the infant is giving me instructions. I, I guess I'll go. <laughs> I guess I'll leave. I hope the other guy's all right. <laughs> what the hell? Like, uh, come on. Is this all Bo-Katan does? She just sits sit around there. moping. Sit there. She's being she sad. on EFAP fans. <laughs> does she have any scheduled visits? Yeah, I was about to say, Robot, you know that we don't have any schedules here. <laughs> I just sit around and mope. Why did you buy me? <laughs> I used to live in a nice place. I used to be a bartender. Oh, let's get rid of him. Maybe I didn't make myself clear There's the clearly time. no one in there. Yeah. <laughs> Who's she talking to? What happened to him? He got beaten, eaten up by a big droid. Why do you care? Do so you just want to get the dark saber? He is probably very dead by now. It's been yeah, like I mean, days. Well, this is in the Mandalore system. Oh, it's the same so system. system. I guess. Yeah. yeah, but still, it's a while, right? Like a couple hours at least. No, it's It'll like be twenty fine. seconds of screen time, so it's like. Well, hopefully the droid creature has done nothing to him in this time. And I yeah. guess Bo-Katan just never came back here, but she is now. Even though she's in Mando system. Came here. Well, she said it wasn't poisoned, but she never actually checked. No, she said it was plundered and poisoned. She said that the planet surface has been, like, poisoned. That planet has been ravaged, plundered, and poisoned. Well, then she really didn't know. Why didn't you never went here? Really? Just didn't bother. Especially with how important <clears throat> this is it's to like you or whatever. It's like your next door neighbor. Didn't always look like this. Oh, I don't Thank get you. it. Yeah, oh, yeah. They didn't build it with a style of apocalypse chic. <laughs> That's surprising. It's all the rage on Mandalore. Yeah. You see, if you build it and it looks like it's destroyed, if it actually Man. gets destroyed, it's really no big deal. How did Baby Yoda communicate exactly where they landed on the planet? Droids. Oh, the yeah, oh droids. wait, it was, yeah, the they droids. downloaded the thing, yeah. All right, well, I'll cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was funny. You have to leave it in there. No, I'm cutting it out. What's droid doing? Ooh, what's no one ever doing? like plans or prepares for anything, you know? Oh, turn on just all watch the camera. Watch it. Why did you even show us that? Don't worry, guys. The droid is watching them. You're like, okay. <laughs> all right. Assume, you can only watch them for as long as they don't go in the cave, right? Which mm. they will do immediately. Yep. Oh man, I can't wait for them to get attacked by those. You well, that would be again. Another action scene. Oh yeah. Waiting to go. Remember, we got. So we're gonna have three this episode then. Yeah, because we obviously will have a big fight movie. with uh, the 
big mech. Yeah, board. yeah, exactly. Alien. I can't believe this is how we got Bo-Katan into it. Literally the longest way around possible. Yeah, why couldn't it just be that she wants to? Why I would have had her follow him. him. Why, why I would have had her follow him. him. What are you taking? The, and then she the turns point? up when he's in peril and she's like, you fucking loser, I told you whatever. And then he's like, well, why are you Thank here? You. And you can do character things. There was plenty of reason for her to come here without having to do this. Mm. You just have sent a distress signal and then have her show up. No, mm. they said you no, no signals get out of this planet. Remember, right, Jay? Yeah. Gosh, pay attention. Even though so they could have just not had that be the case. Yeah, that was plot significant because it makes the episode more boring. That's I still, uh, yeah. like I that. think it would have been you have her show zero interest and it turns out she's actually very interested and she did follow him here. I wish I had yeah. a dollar for yeah. every time someone in a piece of media said dot dot dot, now it's a tomb. Everything was great. Oh, I remember this place i've seen this died. two minutes ago yo we're doing yeah. this again nice and slow i know that you're frightened but i need you to guide me to him maybe you should pay attention I mean, to the fact that like the just... child is suddenly indicating danger it looked like a growl from uh yeah it was like, like fine. A fuck off i knew quite a few jedi you know I don't know what they taught you about us, but there was a time we actually got along quite well. We've discovered mm -hmm. so much about that across the three seasons. Ow! Shoot them, 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 shoot them. Nice. Wow. How did you just oh, know you that shit? Yeah. Well, now well, she gets to use her other moves, Rags, which is much right. more cool. First quarter's combat. We, if you, you it's, the, it's that stupid interview on uh, Doctor Strange where they were like, we need new spells. It, 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 you have to just show different things, otherwise the audience gets bored. Man, that so shield lame. is so small. That yeah. shield is tiny. Did you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? No. Why would no. he think that? No, would he, I, he, yeah, Yoda was saved sure that the child knows in front of an cool. army of these fuckers. We Why would she say that? They used to live in the also, world, um, I thought Baby Yoda met Bo-Katan in yeah. season two. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he, he definitely is. did. He was he was them. He met her many times, Why actually. Did, yeah. That line feels really like, you've come here to destroy me level. Yeah. So he's just been chilling in here with that thing doing, I don't know, having a wank Doing or nothing. Why Next doesn't time. he kill Mando and take his stuff? Because then the show would be over. We can't just, do that. I don't even no, know what this thing is up to. I need your like, blood. Ooh, that'd be interesting if his suit like needed blood to be put into it. The tubes, like they start filling with blood, and he drains Mando's blood, and well, then we don't have to have Mando is, be a character. Had he started that draining Mando once he'd got him, he'd be dead by now. Yo, give me your blood. Nom, 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 nom. Oh well. Okay. Hey, that's my blood pump. Miss, 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 miss. Yeah. Hit, miss. Nice. Wow. wow also, when off. you have a gun, you don't need to close the fucking distance. Uh. Wow, she's way better at it than Mando is. Yeah, she's pretty good with it. Yeah, look at her. She's awesome with it. Well, I mean, I'm glad that she's better than Mando at something, because Mando is better than everybody at everything. Oh, that was nothing. Wow. She, like, oh, yeah. it oh, that was a half an action has scene. She, has she wielded uh, it before? Okay. Oh, no, he's okay. Oh, yeah, he's a little critter. Yeah, there he is. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Just scurry away. Are you trying to say something? Get this needle out of me. <laughs> they're still in me. You can tell that they're in me. Wait, how did it? How did oh, it make no noise how how did it getting it to it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, well, it's this the dark sucks. saber, so whatever. Well, that really was two halves of an action scene almost. Yeah, they both sucked. That's three action scenes right there. Yeah, we got three. That's crazy. I wonder if you could like trick the him. Disney mandate people into thinking it was more action scenes by putting a little bright breather in the middle of it. Yeah, it's like it's actually four, really. How did you find me? Your kid. He's tougher than he looks, and he's quite the navigator. Quite the navigator. Yeah, quite, quite the navigator. Everything interesting right. in this episode is dead now. You are right. Mandalore is not cursed. Was I? Look around. There's nothing left. That doesn't mean it's cursed. That means cursed it's empty. In, in a symbolic way, Rags, so memory. she's right still. <laughs> I once ruled here for a brief time. Yeah, well, you did a bang-up job then. Nothing to cling to but ashes. I mean, there's clearly a lot here. Well, there's Beskar mines. You've never eaten pog soup. Pog, pog soup! Pog, pog, pog soup! soup. Made of pogs. You can take ah, look at me at that. Looks dumb as fuck. Yeah, he's already definitely in your mouth. He to I think he on. just dropped that all over his chin. I don't think that yeah. was out. <laughs> you should rest. I'll get you back to my ship soon enough. I'm not going with you. Well, you kind of have to. Your ship is not here. I must continue to the mines of Mandalore. 
so that no, come back next be... week. Ah, uh, with your magical bullshit. I honestly think that it's adorable that you actually believe these children's stories. It's not really whether he believes it. It's what he has to do. Waters. No, I thought it was symbolic. I, I it's not actual like, magic. Yeah, like... Well, also, I feel like there's, there's good reason to believe it. Dude, this is the Star Wars universe. Like yeah. It's like not unreasonable to believe in crazy magic stuff in this universe. <laughs> Without the creed, what are we? The creed is how we survived. You survived despite the creed, not That's because true. of it. The but creed he did, is nothing but counterproductive. He did just make the argument though, like, I gotta do it because what else is there? Which is like, oh my god, character? Yes. Well, it, we've, it's only season three, Mahler. <laughs> we gotta start at some point. You rescued me, and I'll always be in your debt. But I can't go with you until I fulfill my obligation. I will take you. To the living waters. Yes. Is no one going to point out that your ship is not here, Mando? Like, they got here with her ship, whatever. Oh, yeah, that's right. He needs oh, to yeah, go with her. Yeah, yeah. Right. Is back on, on the castle. Well, You'll do it later. Boring. It's fine. Are you within walking distance of the location you need to get to? Oh, this is a planet, just so hey, we're clear. Remember, so. remember she, she gave him directions. It was underneath the... Us. Civic Center, that's where they went. It must pain you to see it like this after witnessing its beauty. What pains me is seeing our own kind fight one another time and time again, killing each other for reasons too confusing to explain. Made us Which weak. makes it easier to write. There, the entrance to the mines of Mandalore. Whoa, we're oh, here, Oh, wow, everyone. it's right there. It's right there. Dun, 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 There's only dun, one. Dun, 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 There's one dun, mines of Mandalore. Dun, 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 dun. I was part of the royal family. But the rituals were all just theater for our subjects. They loved watching the princess recite the Mandalorian tenants as her father looked on proudly. Maybe he was proud. I know he was. Your father sounds like an interesting man. He died defending Mandalore. This is the way. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> hot take, that's right. probably the most meaningful that's ever been. Is that even a hot take? Every other time it's just like... Nothing at nothing. all. <laughs> yeah. It's more the fact... meaningful in the Ugandan <clears throat> Knuckles meme. <laughs> <laughs> you see the way. <laughs> you do you know the way? Because, yeah, that was like, a top tier meme. That feels more waters. suitable than I've ever heard it before. The, the fact that you'd say that to her when she said her dad died defending Mandalore. Hold on. These mines date back to the age of the first Mandalore. According to ancient folklore, the mines were once a mythosaur lair. Ooh, dinosaur. Like, yeah, I can read. <laughs> if you want people to believe it exists, so don't call it the mythosaur. Just walks yeah. away, it's like, yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> jump in, Mando. Get no, naked. I can just jump in and Get be naked. a Mandalorian. And then I'm your king. Get or naked. Let's see Pedro Dark Pascal, Saber. or is he not in this season at all? This is very meaningful. We have yeah, are they going to treat this like this is a very solemn mm -hmm. and incredibly important moment? I swear on my name that I shall walk the way of the Mandalore, and the words of the Creed shall be forever forged in my heart. <laughs> Bye. Thank God. Let's go home. <laughs> That's going to say at least something. Oh, I guess something very wrong is happening. Oh, that was really I thought he just like went into the deep end or something. Belly flop. Jesus Christ, how far did he go? How did he do it? Oh my God. <laughs> We grabbed by one of those dinosaurs. Quite a drop. Well, off. luckily his helmet has oxygen capabilities or whatever. Or pressurized, right? Not yeah, well, oxygen. it makes that sound. It goes. <laughs> some... There he is. Woohoo. He's like, sorry, I tripped. Does this count Dude. as an action scene? Wait, what? Is, is this because he tripped? How did he get you so fast? Something must have grabbed him, right? Yeah, because because she was like thrusting downwards. Wait, what? Wow, he's like knocked out too. Is the only reason why this happened because he fell like Homer Simpson fell off the gorge? <laughs> <laughs> I assume it's the oh, monster oh, that did it. Oh, oh, eyeball, eyeball, did eyeball, it. where it is? Where is no, it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, the dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Greg, the eye. Eyeball. Oh. Let's just hope it's not a. Oh, is this a mythosaur? Is that the meme? Oh my god, it's the mythosaur. Oh, I get. Okay. What does it eat? Did he legit just fall? I think I, he did just fall. I guess fall. so. I hear some noise. The fuck? How embarrassing. Yeah, I think he did just fall. I thought it'd be like fell. a tentacle yeah, or something. How are you coughing and wheezing? So you fell. have the... How? How? Oh, is, is that... Um... Really? What, uh, what really? was all of that? <laughs> what? Rich by John Favreau. Why? <laughs> John, <laughs> why? What an bad episode. He, oh my he, god. He fell. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, I guess he did just trip. That, watch what? out. And then he couldn't doozy. swim. He just drowned. <laughs> he just sunk like a rock. Yeah, because the arm was so heavy and he didn't have his jetpack, I guess. So he just, uh, that's so I mean, embarrassing. That was the main 
that was the main thing that happened in the episode. He's like an, <laughs> he's like an actual cringe. infant. He fell. <laughs> you can't you can't let Din Djarin like play around empty plastic bags or he'll suffocate himself. <laughs> you know I'm just I'm just imagining him going back to Blacksmith Lady. He's like, did you go to the water? It's like, yeah, it was you super fucking bad I did. I fell. <laughs> Morley, you're the most likely person to get this reference. You know the bit in Little Britain where yeah. the guy is in the tree? <laughs> yes, I it's fell. like the greatest joke in the whole of the show. How did you get out there? Fucking well, long episode, dude. Friend. It's like watching a geriatric old man like slip we, in his bathtub. It took like 40 minutes for it to happen. Same, it's like in Wish Upon Rags, do you remember? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, no, this is oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> We, we went through the same <coughs> cave entrance like three times. What a two shit times episode! Yeah. So, so wow. slowly. I just, well, and especially considering how lofty this one is supposed to be. This is the Mandalorian going to Mandalore, the forbidden yeah. destroyer. Yeah. I thought it'd be the end of the season. I was about to say to that too. That. I thought this was I like the, the big quest we do over the season. It was just like, no, here we are. Also, we are no, not getting no. another. He's rope. in and he slips. He, I will say, right, before Mando fell down can, and tripped. I was like, wow, he's redeemed himself in episode two. That's that's pretty interesting. You think in that you would say In the first episode, oh, he was like, I need this robot because I can trust him. And then the second episode just gets another one, like just we said he should. One. First one that was oh, suggested to him by the lady. Yeah, right. but then he okay. goes to Tatooine again because we need more sand. Oh, well, that's the cameo. That is literally never, the cameo. Never been happier to see a traffic cone. She, she mentioned God. Boonta Eve. We saw uh, a Rodan. Like, that, that's the, the, these are all amazing references that I love Star Wars. No, it's a fucking waste of and my it's time. At point that it makes you wonder if in the writer's room they specifically have a whiteboard uh. dedicated to the cameos and references. Like, what are we going to reference? Well, Who I are we going to have? Yes, the they cameo? do. Although I'm not sure if it's a whiteboard as much as it is like an AI. Yeah, the robot just <laughs> You need to have the for sure. with a little whip for the people who have to set up the costumes in CG. It's like, do it! Oh, yeah, because it's something that I was thinking again is like, man, the visual effects, the production, it's like, damn, like there was clearly a lot of money and effort that goes into that side of this production mm -hmm. compared to what we saw in Obi Wan and, and Book of Boba Fett. Those ones were definitely more lacking in that regard. It's just a shame that there's no story here. I just can't believe we are two for two with the uh, Iwet Grief Cargo then. Amy's. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting his surname. Sadakis? Sadakis? Sadaris, I think. Oh, okay. Sadaris. Oh. The Daris, yeah, who's episode three gonna be? It's like, well, we still gotta get Boba Fett done. Ahsoka is probably uh, yeah, gonna yeah, have an episode. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Ahsoka again. In yeah. fact, I feel like that's a certainty that she'll show up again. And maybe we'll get somebody that we haven't had before in Mando, but we'll, you know... Oh, Bill like, Beer as well, we might expect him. He'll probably be in, yeah, at mm -hmm. some point. And that'll be the most interesting episode of the season. So, you know how we have uh, the concept, we talked about it a bunch of times, the and then storyline where it's just... Yes. There's no connection, uh, well, just something else happens, right? Um, so, of so, uh, what I think is interesting about this is that I wouldn't give it that criticism. It's like some kind of mutated and weird opposite, where it's, uh, we landed, and you're like, okay, the droid went off, and, and he's gone now. And you're like, oh, so I chased him, and then we found there was some bad guys, we killed him, and then we went further, and I got captured. And you're like, okay, that, that follows, I guess, it's not what I expect. Like I sent the baby back to go get my friend, and then he did, and then she came, and then she saved me. It's like I, I guess all of those things could happen, yeah. and that they all happened because of the thing before them. But what the fuck? Like the, I never would have expected you to tell this story, and there's still like a shit ton of stretches involved. But it does like follow along. This episode's like mundane. It was pretty boring. That they always forego any opportunity that's available to them to build character. That the one thing that you know we can compliment is like, oh, Mando kind of used their uh, their little mantra appropriately in a way that was kind of unexpected. That's the best you're gonna get. Well, yeah, and and we got a little bit of Bo-Katan's history. That it sounded like she wasn't really 100 percent on board with doing all of the Mandalorian Creed stuff, but she did it anyway, and that people were happy to see it. Mm -hmm. And she said she didn't want to embarrass her father. It's so interesting that we have, because I mean, the dialogue itself is all just her telling you like yeah. what she thought and believed. It, none of it is very subtle. And that's the at all. best this has to offer. Uh, yeah, it's it's a really lame story, isn't it? There's nothing Baffling. here. <laughs> it's just nothing. Yeah. What does it look like to sit down and talk about an episode of Mandalorian meaningfully? Like, if you like it, you know, and you enjoy it. Like, Mandalore was. The, whoa, and... they were. The city was. The, oh, wow. 
That was I so guess I want to cool. give it a little bit more credit. I'd I'd like to know meaningfully, you know, if you wanted to sit down. All right, and do let's an try and do it. Um, I think I, I found Mandalore just really fucking interesting, and it's really cool to see him return to like his his homeland. Uh, and, and all that came with that, and it's like a hellish landscape, but even though it's got quite a mystical element to it, it feels like homely but cursed. I think they nailed it. I think that Mando as a character is like a very, very easy, almost completely blank self-insert for people who watch the show. Well, we're I can about... imagine doing this. I can imagine going into the mines and stabbing the guys and shooting the droids. And it's really easy for someone watching this to imagine that they're sort of doing it. The reason why we make so many comparisons to side quests and, and NPCs and stuff like that and cameos and just these encounters. This show is very much structured like a sort of like an RPG way. You've got like the blank slate protagonist who goes to all of these different places. He meets somebody, it's like, this is the quest for you. And it's like, yep, I'll complete it. And that's the quest for the episode. And then, you know, he goes off and does the next thing. And you're, he is a blank slate. I mentioned this last episode and I compared traits. him to that was like the plan with Ray was to make her a um a vessel for everybody to see themselves in Star Wars as. That's why she's so blank. But that one didn't work. It, it didn't failed work miserably. Well this one's working time, better. <laughs> like Yeah. But it's still like it just doesn't take long to realize he's got no fucking character. And he's awesome at everything. Like he don't well, really have any problems. <laughs> well, unless unless he needs to be he shit for Boca to like, save him a couple times. Well, I, I it's again, this is how desperate I am to grasp at anything. It's like, wow, it's nice that Boca is like better than him, but something like she's really good with the dark. Well, and it's nice that he fails him. at some stuff, I guess, but like it doesn't. And then she has to save him. It's very yeah. superfluous. Like those well, things it, can be indicators of something, but there's nothing actually well, happening here. Because what is what is the main thrust of his arc for this season? You need to redeem yourself. Why? Because you took off your helmet to say goodbye to like one of the most important people in your life. Oh wow! Yeah, and then it's like, what does like, that entail? Like, is it something ritualistic? Do I need another Mandalore? He's like, no, you got to go to a place that doesn't exist anymore. Lol. And it's like, what? And then just go in the water, and then you. And go. then and it's like oh, it does exist, like... and it's like, well, but it's poison. Yeah. And it's like, no, it's not though. And it's like, no, what it's not. Is this. Really, the greatest mm. threat is that you step off and fall down, like, into the gorge. Well, how important is this to tell his Mandalorian cult? Be like, by the way, it is accessible and it's non-poisonous. Yep. Yeah, it's like, we could maybe, it would be really hard, but we could go back there and try to rebuild something. And they like, seriously better take a photo, yeah, sure. because otherwise uh, she'll just yeah. be like, nah, you're bullshit. I don't believe, it's like, well, I don't unfortunately, you, you can't possibly check. You don't have a spaceship, so right. no, no one's checking that. Nope. You no should seriously. have brought your shell phone. You'd think that you could have a story of people who made pilgrimages back to Mandalore and their quest didn't go so well. But it seems like nobody's been here. Yeah, and it no, really no seems like tried. if a couple people went, you could kind of just, like, be just fine, because the only threat there seems to be, unless you come across this random robot, just some tribal people in caves with some sticks. Yeah, well, those tribal people were even it's there like, already. She's like, like the, oh, those um, are these creatures. We've known them. It's like, oh, so they've been here before, so that's not even a problem, I guess. It's like the annoying sci-fi trope where, oh, we're on a new alien planet, and every creature we encounter is like a massive apex predator, but, like, you know, in... With with Star Wars creatures, everything is like yeah. There a, are no there are no prey species like akin to a deer or a squirrel. There's just this 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 guy who goes around like setting up trap. And can we talk about the fact that, that guy was just living under a hat, that, <laughs> that, waiting for someone to I guess come along and pick it up so he can trap them and steal their blood. That was just his life. That was his life. Yeah, he so was just getting any more waiting. on that. No. He's just yeah. sitting there waiting. And he looks like that looks like a cool, interesting cyborg creature that's been there a long time. And he's and he's trying to take blood. Like that's interesting. Does he need blood to sustain itself? Like in, in his own tubes and everything? And, and what's he doing? What how long's he been there? Was was that like was he a Mandalorian once and they, they were experiments or is like no, nah, he's just he's not and died. Like that's Mandalorian for you. It's like you don't get to know anything interesting. You no. just get the surface level interesting, and that's it. I'm sure the Wikipedia entry potentially might say something approaching interesting about this character, yeah. and everyone will say, wow, isn't that cool? Even though none of it was in the show whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. He's already gone. Gone. He's fucking dead. He died. Well, my he's favorite character. I mean, like, he just looked That was making me think about that droid character. show I was pitching. Imagine they bumped into something like this, and he's like, <laughs> fuck you guys, you had a job to do, you should have, you should be continuing it or something. And, you know, they have to kill him or before he kills them sort of thing, and they, they realize, and, I want to watch that show, maybe I'll make well, it. You, you all genuinely my, maybe have a dollars. moment there. You, you said that that little spider thing was your favorite Mando character, and I was like, oh, that's genuinely true. 
Because <laughs> like, all the others, I just like, hey. I guess Bill Biz the only one that could maybe be him. But I haven't seen his episodes. I don't even know his fucking name. I just call him <laughs> Bill Biz. Of the episodes I've seen, and I've seen like plenty of Mando content, right? I mean, you know, like not, not like Three most seasons. of the show, but like... Oh. No, because I watched um, oh I watched God. all of Book of Boba Fett, which has like a lot of Mando characters <laughs> in it, and I watched uh, the end of season two, and I've seen. Did you this. watch Kenobi? So, like, yeah, you did, yes. right? Yeah, that was a great one. So That's that would that. be like enough content to form like you know some kind of uh, you know fondness for a particular character, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I've watched them for what like. Did you like probably the mod more time than Boba is in Fett? the original trilogy? Remember the modders? They were cool, right? They did a flip. I, I, to be fair, that that guy was pretty cool. I can't believe yeah. how much it pisses me off to see Tatooine. What have they done? <laughs> I just yeah, don't want to see like, it oh, ever. Fucking there it is again! Well, it's, it, Hooray. it's sort of bright gloss in case of lack of <laughs> nostalgia. I could see someone being like, "Well, that's where she is, and he's visiting her because she he needs help with droid stuff." And I'm like, I don't care how much you justify it anymore. I well, just because I know what the real reason is. Real reason tokens. is that they want to want to show you Tatooine because you remember Tatooine. You like Tatooine. Yeah. And I was like, Unta Eve. Was like, Pod racing. Can we just got a mm -hmm. fucking droid on another planet? You see, if we reference a Moron. thing that's happening in the world, that's world building. <sighs> well, he couldn't buy a droid on Navarro where he actually was. Or yeah. Any, yeah, it's like, why of all, you need a droid that kind of, it's really important. You need it to do like essentially scientific work. It needs to take samples. You need to scan the atmosphere. You need to make sure, like this is one of those things in an actual show, like a, a proper show that would be like, all right, I got to go through like my checklist of things I need for this mission. And then we could see him doing all those things. And we see how efficient he is and the decisions behind which droid he picks and the ship that he buys and things of that nature. But this is just like, nah, it's just a the first thing suggested to me, I'll fucking take it, whatever. Yeah. No, but and I'll go back to you because after, after, after he was extremely particular about it. Yeah, he made such a big fuss in the first episode, but now he's just like, ah, fuck it, whatever. Uh, I think we're just done with the, with the droid. I think we just <clears> maybe. It well, when he goes back to Navarro in episode six, the the droid will be perfectly fixed. It's okay though. It's not like the only thing really we established on Navarro while we were there in that episode is that there are loads of really good droid smiths there, so it's fine. Uh -huh. I know. Isn't it crazy that we yeah. established specific Specifically, droid smiths, and then they just weren't were used for fuck all. They were cute. Yeah, they're fun. Is it just because oh, it funny. looks like yeah. uh, Babu Frick, and that's them. it? That is literally it. Yes. One yeah. of them probably yeah. is like canonically Babu Frick. That's probably the point we're at. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is where he was. You know, all those years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Frick is the glub shadow of uh, yeah. actual Star Wars, though. By the God. way. What uh, a shitty show. Yeah. What else is there? Yeah, we're done. I think we're done. Episode. Thank you, everybody. One, one more, wait, wait, one more thing. One more thing. No. Go for it. So, uh, <laughs> Frank, you guys remember Assassin's Creed One? What was the general idea there? You fucked up. So, in order to get all your stuff back and everything, and show that you're a true assassin, you need to re. You need to go through all of your training again. You need to go through all the stuff that someone needs to learn. For being an assassin, you have to go through all of that again to show that, you know, you well, can do it. fundamentally, you need and to reconstruct your principles in doing yeah, this. You need to re-familiarize re yourself and journey. understand what assa the Assassin's Creed is and what you need to embody. I was like, and so point. here, here in this, like, oh, you took off your helmet, you can't be a Mandalorian anymore. And instead of being like, no, you have to go take a bath in this one specific fucking place, which doesn't mean anything, right? You just, literally just go there, you do it. Yeah. It's like, nope, you're gonna, you're gonna give me this and give me that, and you don't get your jetpack anymore. If you want to be a Mandalorian, then you need to relive all of your training, you have to do it all again, and you need to go through all the steps of the Creed. And that would be like, oh, okay, this gives him a wide variety of things to do. Like, you have to hunt a beast. You have to tackle this. You have to do that. You have to do this. And it's like this big, long list of things he could do. And we can learn more about what the Mandalorian training actually entails. He'll probably have to go to all kinds of different places and things and do a wide variety of, you know, actual tasks in order to complete it. And we could see him, you know, relearning the Creed and we could learn it along with him. And that would be so much better in, instead of go to this place and take a bath. That would it's be true. It's very thematically pertinent that the way it's, he redeems himself is pointless because the rule he broke is also it's pointless. pointless. Yeah, yeah, and then it's like it didn't even take a bath. He fucking slipped in the bath, and nearly drowned. It's yeah. so it's embarrassing. It's Why? <laughs> Why would you do this? Yeah. He's getting out of the water. No backsies. Cool... No backsies. I was in. I was in. You saw it. You saw it. We saw the, the cool mythosaur. So that's cool. Yeah. Is that why that happened? Just so they have a reason to show the mythosaur? That's it. Yeah. Myth what, I what does it eat? What does anything we saw on that planet eat rags? Oh, the um, they eat the, the, little, they eat the little crocagators Blood. that fly around. Yeah, but then what do they eat? They clearly, they were clearly Lichen. like... 
They okay. eat the plant life, the glangs. Mm. Oh, I love glangs. It's delicious. Lang, okay, lang, it's lang, over. Lang. Ma it's <laughs> Mando season three, episode two. We're done. <laughs> this is <a> strong <laughs> investment right. in getting this shorter than, than longer. How do you think I uh, feel? Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time, folks. Kiss see you next time. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. 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 Forged in my heart. Ah! Go! Oh, go! 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 What'd you bring me?